Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Simple Kai Guy channel. Today, what I'm going to do is remove these two panels and cover them in carbon fiber vinyl. Why? Well, because this one's really scratched up and it looks really ugly. And this one has a couple of scratches as well, but just to match everything, I'm going to remove both of them, take them inside and give it a try. Of course, it's removable, so if I don't like it, I'm going to remove it and and that's it. But I think it's going to make the car look a lot, a lot nicer and... Once I get the big screen in here, it's going to modernize the look of this um, first gen BMW i3. And I think it'll look good. So let's get to it. We're going to need a T20 uh, socket. Remove two little screws here. Then this should come off fairly easily after that. Okay, I'm gonna close it so I can. There you go. All right, that's removed. That's one. Super easy to do. This panel doesn't have any screws, so what I'm gonna do is just use one of these trim removal tools and pop it open. Make sure these screws don't fall in. Okay, very easy to remove. I just stuck the, my uh, plastic removal tool in and slowly went around. There it is. Okay. That's it, fully removed. And now you can see why I wanna cover it. Maybe I can even paint it black if I don't like the carbon fiber look, but we'll give it a try. It's pretty cheap to do. And yeah, it's just held in with these clips. So you gotta be careful to remove them. You know, not to break anything, but easy enough. Let's go cover them and see how it looks. Unfortunately, I will not be showing you how to wrap the panels as I don't think I'm at that skill level. There are many great videos on YouTube on how to do this properly. I just wanted to show you how to remove the dash panels and what it looks like after it's done. The process is simple on the surface, but does take some patience and time to get it right. This was my first attempt and I think it's acceptable, but I wouldn't brag about it. Anyway, I cleaned all of the panels with the isopropyl alcohol, cut the vinyl wrap to size and attached it to the panel. Then I used a heat gun to get rid of all the wrinkles and stretch it over the corners. I think it took me about 90 minutes to get this done while watching a movie. So how are the results? Well, I think it looks fantastic once it's installed in the car and definitely adds a modern touch to the interior of this poor i3. Of course, if you have a higher trim interior, you might already have a good looking dash. But this car had the cheap looking gray plastics with lots of issues. Since there's a lot of plastic in the area anyway, I think it creates a good contrast. It also plays well with the updated display. Subscribe to the channel to see the step-by-step -step video on how I installed it, coming out in a couple of days. I hope this video inspired you to update or change the look of your dash on your own car, and I'd love to see the results. Let me know what you think of this cheap and easy mod, like the video if you think it looks good, and I'll see you in the next one.